welcome in second part of convert a simple text to in, um, into a cipher text using encoding techniques open visual studio and design first a table in your database explorer known as server explorer is the first already designed here table uh, user open table definition there is a serial number username and password serial number is auto incremented by one that is your identity specification now we create the user interface add new item web form HTML table table control places username password here is a button control click on your save button here is a one text box here copy it and paste into the second cell oops copy it and paste into your second text box now your design is complete click on save button and write some code here using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot data using system dot configuration using system dot text in the class add SQL connection class for making the connection SQL command class for creating the query okay done create a default constructor this type of public default make the object of SQL connection class create connection string here using configuration manager dot connection string dot to string our connection string is available in web dot config file this and paste here oops copy it and paste here okay done now create the object of the SQL command class t equals to new SQL command class now preparing the connection stick the two grid view control here the first grid view for encrypt encrypted data and second grid view for decrypted data okay now add in the caption here is encrypted data and in second grid view is 
decrypted data okay and the page load add event sum not equals to page dot is post back then bind both grid view bind grid view one and bind grid view two create a two method here generate method stub that's your method stub here in public grid view one and in second generate method stub two okay In the next video tutorial, I will learn how to bind both grid view and the next video tutorial, I will learn how to encrypt data. First we check time 625, okay. Now first we save data into your database table string pwd text equals to encode password and paste here is second text box value which is which we take password text here we take the password in text box 2 and create a method encode password method stub generate which returns the string value here okay here we okay string encode pwd sticks by default string dot empty file Okay, in next video tutorial, I will learn uh, remove first return and code password. Okay, then in next video tutorial, I will learn how to encode the password and save into your database table.